Hey everybody, welcome back to Guitar Street and today we are going to review these. And uh, we're going to test it out. We're going to see if these are worth the hype and whether I overpaid for this. So uh, stay tuned. This is Martin's latest liquid metal bridge pins and they look like this. Okay, check this out. It looks beautiful. So for today, we are going to try out three types of pins. First, beginning with these plastic bridge pins that came with my guitar. These are standard issue Martin plastic bridge pins. Uh, came with my D18. Okay. Next, we are going to try out these bone pins. Right, these are bone pins. With a very nice mother of pearl inlay on the tip. And finally, we are going to try out these, of course, these Martin liquid metal bridge pins. Okay, they look like these. I'm going to take them out. And they look like this. Next, let's do a very simple non-scientific sound test and I'm gonna just start the plastic pins and just fiddle around with them to see to let you hear what it sounds like uh, these are definitely the lightest by far it looks very very light alright next let's look at the bone pins now already you can tell that it's a lot heavier And they sound a little bit more uh, uh, glassier, but it feels like marbles. Sounds like marbles to me. Oops. <laughs> okay. Next, let's check out these liquid metal bridge pins. Okay, it is still having that glassy sound but it feels a lot firmer already right now I think that the main sell of these bridge pins is that they transfer energy very very well you know so when they there's a layer of liquid metal and something bounces off it it almost does not lose any energy so this is uh, su su supposedly very good for energy transfer so here you go. Okay, this is the liquid metal bridge pins. But of course, that does not mean anything if they don't sound good on the guitar. So let's put them on and see what they sound like.
All right, everybody, that was it. That was the bridge pins. Uh, and we had three different types. We had the plastic first, and then the bone, and then finally these fancy liquid metal pins. Uh, I'm not going to make any verdict because I don't want to influence any opinions, but I am interested in what you think. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Which pins were the best? Uh, for what strumming patterns or finger picking patterns did you think they were most suitable for? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm interested to hear what everybody thinks of these pins. And finally, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. That would really help me a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye.